okay so so last time okay 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 the thing is that we have estimated this model and from this model we can derive the residual right and and we shall be checking today whether the residual is normally distributed or not okay and last time last time actually we saved we saved two residual right two types of residuals because there are many types two types of residual last time we saved while we are running uh, the model so we have two types of residual that we have saved last time and they are number one number one uh, the first one we saved was was studentized right and the second one we saved standardized right standardized standard standardized right so this type these two residual we have already saved last time okay now uh, we shall check whether these two residuals are normally distributed or not okay here here uh, first uh, first uh, first uh, we check the this one studentized residual then we shall check standard standardized i'm a mistake standardized residual so so the, so 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 the so the second one we'll do later okay first i do the first one okay uh, the first one okay so uh, and i go to analyze as before then i come here i do here no sorry analyze then i go to descriptive statistic i come here then i go to explore right so here analyze descriptive statistics and explore right i click on it okay so here you can see we have two residual one is standard residual one is student residual that we already saved last time so now i check one by one whether the residual is normally distributed or not okay first i check with this one student residual i take it here right i take it here okay okay then i check statistics i click on it then okay it uh, this thing is already here then continue then i choose plot okay here i choose the, this one normality plots with test right i take this one right and i also take this one histogram of the residual right i take it continue then i choose option okay so it is exclude cases list wise i press continue okay now i press okay so the result is coming up gradually it takes time because because my computer is very slow because it is a very old computer okay so, so first one we talk about uh, studentized residual right okay so we talk about okay first i talk about uh, the, this one test of normality right so actually there are two approach one is mathematical approach and one is graphical approach okay so he, here i'm doing i'm making it uh, making it uh, big so that you can see better make it big i'm making it 16 right okay this is the i make it big and here normally two approach i am telling both the approach what is the first approach i am telling okay so there are two approach one approach is uh, graphical approach 
sorry, number one, graphical approach. And number two approach is mathematical approach. Mathematical approach. Okay. Okay, here the graphical approach actually not that reliable to come to any decision. But the second one, the mathematical approach is more convincing that means after doing this approach we can be sure whether the data is normally distributed or not meaning that our residual is normally distributed or not okay first i do this approach mathematical approach okay okay and it is the mathematical approach it is here that means that uh, that means it can make you confirm this approach can make you confirm whether our residual is normally distributed or not okay so he uh, so 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 here is the studentized residual right and it is there are there are two statistics one is Kolmo Gorov statistics and Shapiro statistics. We have these two. And it is the statistics, right? And corresponding a uh, significant level or p value. And here is also statistics and corresponding uh, significant value, or I can call it p value, right? And it is the same thing probability value so what is p probability value and here what is our null hypothesis the null hypothesis is i am taking here the null is the null is residuals are normally distributed and that is desirable right that w that we want to have a good regression model right and what is alternative alternative hypothesis residuals are not normally distributed Okay, so one is null and one is alternative. Residuals are not normally distributed. And here you can see the statistics and corresponding significant value. The value is how much? The value is actually 20%. The value is 20%, meaning that more than 5%. So we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that the student residual is normally distributed and that is desirable okay and what about the shapiro the significant level is how much 55.7% it is called 55.7% which is more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed and that is desirable for any regression model and normally we can we can reject the null hypothesis when the p value or sig value significant value is less than 5% only then we can reject the null hypothesis and take the alternative hypothesis but here the significant value 
is more than 5%. So we cannot reject null hypothesis. So this one is the mathematical approach, right? And we are confirm, we are already confirm that, that uh, the residual are normally distributed. Okay, we can also check graphical approach, right? Graphical approach, but from here, we cannot be sure whether the, the residual is normally distributed or not. We cannot be sure, but still, but still we can check. Okay, I go down, you can see studentized residual, it is here, right? Okay, first I check the uh, his histogram, right? So here you can see, and it is the student residual, right? You can see from here. So here it is almost normally distributed, something like this, right? Something like this, right? So meaning that residual are normally distributed, right? it is something like this okay so 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 the second graphical approach i can check from here it is here second graphical approach just one minute it is the second graphical approach just one minute i'm setting it okay make it big it's so big this one okay i cannot accommodate something like that right because so big. Okay, I'm trying to accommodate as much as I can. Okay, I'm trying to accommodate as much as I can. Okay, here the second one you can see. So the guideline is. No, I'm sorry. Is it leaving me? Okay, don't leave me. Stay with me. Okay. Okay. So here. Uh, uh, trying to make it big okay here the second one when the so, so the so this one is a line right this one is a line straight line and when this observation right fall on this line fall on this line then we can say a particular variable or the residual that we are checking here is normally distributed so meaning that when all the dot you know point all the point right when all the point fall on this line then we can say that residual or any variable is normally distributed and here our residual actually a variable here our residual is actually a variable okay so th so th this one is the second graphical presentation and what about the third graphical presentations so that is another one but it is so big right difficult to accommodate okay i'm trying to make it accommodate okay, as much as i can okay the third one what happens third one so what is happening here so here it is the box right it is the box detrended normal QQ studentized residual so when all the point right all the boxes sorry all the uh, all the circle are close to this line then probably the residuals are normally distributed and here you can see all the circle are close to it you can see here most of the circle most of the circles are close to it so we can say that our residual is normally distributed okay so th this is the third third presentation of the 
of the residuals okay the number four oh sorry number four is what uh, number four just one minute it has gone to somewhere just one minute number four is the uh, is the box plot that is the fourth graphical presentation it is here right okay and here what is happening so this one is the box plot of the residual and it is the median right so normally when this median goes up meaning that data is uh, data is negatively skewed meaning that if this line and that is median if this line goes up meaning that close to top close to top meaning that residual is norm and uh, residuals are negatively skewed but if this median line goes down meaning that close to bottom meaning that the residual or the variable is positively skewed but if this median is just in the bottom in the bottom of this line if the residual uh, sorry if this median line is just in the bottom meaning that distribution is normal okay but here uh, this line actually almost in the center almost in the center so we can say that our residual variable is normally distributed so now we are happy about the model because uh, because uh, we have checked both we have checked both approach so the first approach was uh, was what it was a mathematical approach and we have seen that residuals are normally distributed from from the test of normality right from the uh, there are two tests Kolmogorov and Shapiro so from this test we have seen that residuals are normally distributed and also we have checked four graphical approach and from those graphical approach we have also seen that residuals are normally distributed okay so we are happy about our model that we have estimated okay okay now 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 because i, I told you we have to, we have taken two residual one is studentized and one is standardized so now i shall check the standardized residual right whether this residual is normally distributed or not okay that i shall be checking now uh, right okay that uh, that i shall be checking now 